EA Sports. It's in the game. Good evening, everyone. Plenty of reasons to expect a compelling contest tonight here on the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pacte Pass. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from Liga Uber Eats. It's Paris Saint Germain, and they take on Lille. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Vitor Ferreira starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Lionel Messi. And this is the lineup for Lille. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. The drama has commenced here in Paris. Edon Zegrova. Mohamed Bayo. Far from a good pass. Fabian. On to Messi. Hakimi. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. through here and it goes an early opening statement in this match and look at the celebrations well let's take another look at this pass from Mbappe he has so much vision and Neymar hits it with such confidence he strikes it so cleanly it's a great goal The ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0.
Oh, super piece of play. Well, it could be on for him here. And still an opportunity. Not a time for cool heads. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Well, maybe a chance for them now to alleviate the pressure. Gives it a go. Fabian. Vitor Ferreira. Fabian. Hakimi. A chance to whip it in. Well, the header needed to be a lot better than that. Didn't really make the keeper work. And Messi carries it forward. What's he going to do from this position? Messi cutting in from the flank. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. Real concern for the Brents now, because it looks like he landed with his elbow underneath his body, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. In search of the equaliser. And over it comes, and just over the crossbar. Neymar. Oh, he's given it away. Takes it on. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Neymar on to Messi Hakimi but he knew he had to get to the ball and he did Mbappe might it be Mbappe a fine block deflected behind corner forthcoming The delivery from Neymar, and the goalkeeper really exuding confidence. And Lille with the ball again. And half-time coming up with PSG on top. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance to this point? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. And PSG using width to good effect. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. Excellent first half showing from Neymar in this game, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Well, they get the ball rolling again. Paris Saint-Germain with the advantage, but no room for complacency. 
space on the flank. Different angle from Verratti. Just the clearance that was called for. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Fabian. Now with Hakimi. And a chance to whip it in here. Might it be Mbappe? And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, here it is again. And when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that. It's a poor clearance. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. And he has options available. Lionel Messi, can he do it? And still danger here. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Now potential danger, and a goal! What a magnificent display, it's such a one-sided contest here. Well, let's take another look at the replay. What a through ball this is by Mbappe, and then the finish from Messi demonstrates his ability to make the right run at the right time. What a good goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Edon Zegrova. There's a win it back. Well, as the stats confirm, PSG have had the lion's share of possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. And the problem not completely solved. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. He's found a pocket of space. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Messi. Perfect tackle. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Messi. Can he find the net? And a body in the way. Aimed towards Mbappe. They've got it now, what can they do? Well, not far away from the final whistle, and PSG very much in control. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most oh, of the game. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. And it's come off the keeper. Threat over for now, it seems. Great pressure to win the ball back. It's there for him. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Well, a 
has a tale of four goals in this match now. 3 1 it is. Nuno Minge takes some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, a top notch piece of defensive judgment. Andre. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Well, nicely cut out. And that will be all. Three points for PSG. That's the good news for their fans around the world. Your assessment? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, just the sort of performance they were looking for from the talented Kylian Mbappe. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.